Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm gonna help you with your reading. I've seen many students asking for help in reading, saying that they take the tests over and over again and they get the same results. Even when they use practice tests or lots of passages with reading questions, they don't seem to improve. Why is this happening? I have a theory. <laughs> I think that this is because you're trying to answer questions that are too challenging for you, meaning that your reading comprehension level is probably lower. If you say that you can understand everything you read but you don't seem to answer the question correctly, I don't think you're really understanding what you are reading, <laughs> but maybe it's just the general idea. That's why I recommend reading because the way to improve your reading is by reading but not reading and trying to answer questions like in the exam it's reading either for pleasure or reading because you want to learn it doesn't matter what matters is that you read according to your level that's why my number one advice is always read theory because it's a great web page that puts you on your correct level and from there it's easier to grow because the vocabulary you're seeing is too high for you then it's going to uh, distract you from getting what you're supposed to be getting when reading so it's important that you work intensively and extensively read theory for example is intensive reading because you're reading to answer some questions but according to your level some books also do this, uh, printed books, but that are graded readers with some exercises that will make you study like intensively. But there are also graded readers that have no activities. You can read that kind of material to improve. If it's too easy for you, you just move on to the next level, but not three or four levels ahead. You can skip steps. We shouldn't. It's not the best thing to do. But there are other things that you can also do to improve your reading comprehension in general. There are some skills that you can work on and you're going to invest some time in them and it is going to pay off. One of them, for example, is speed reading. Not necessarily I'm telling you to take a program to read 2,000 words per minute, but to increase your speed of reading, to increase your reading speed. Again, reading according to your level, but slow, uh, little by little increasing the speed of your reading as well. Note taking can also be important when reading. Sometimes you're just reading and you can also get distracted while reading. You're reading your eyes are looking at the words, you understand the words, but you don't get what you're reading. To improve that, you can use note-taking. So you can take notes and start writing the main ideas that you're reading about. On a different note, a problem that many students have is also reading a passage that deals with information they are not familiar with. For example, you're an engineer and then you get something related to plants that you know nothing about, you may block. And maybe you would understand the text even if it's not something you're familiar with, but the moment you see that the topic is not familiar to you, then your mind starts not to work properly. So you can work on that too. Start reading things you don't feel so, com so comfortable with um, to see that they are not that harmful, that they might be uh, out of your comfort zone, but that you need to get used to because you are always gonna have to read something like that. But if you lose a fear, you'll say, okay, plants, okay, let's see what's new. And your brain won't block and you will probably understand more than you would have if you had just close to the idea of reading about something 
you don't like or you don't or you know nothing about obviously you also need to work on your exam skills it's not just to know what the exam is about which is also important but to personally know what works best for you because the way i answer a question might not be the best way for you to answer a question some people work better getting the idea of the whole passage and some people just need to read the information on one passage or some people work better if they read the question first and some people work better if they read the options first some people get confused with that so it's there's no a recipe for everybody so you need to find what is best for you try and try again yes it requires practice but above all you have to think positive and think that you got this you got this just need to find new ways of tackling this thing thank you for watching subscribe and i hope to see you soon